The things you'll need to make a chair like that for a 12 inch doll are some recycled cardboard, something to get a nice circle, some cotton wool to make a cushion like that or make it soft and some glue and then I cut up some straws they are two inch for the oops for the legs and I filled them with uh, just with plain paper white pla plain paper and I picked up some uh, curtain I picked up some shower curtain hooks for two dollars at the dollar store and I use those hooks to go around the chair here so I'll show you how to make a nice simple chair Trace it, cut it out. So after you traced and cut them out three times, glue it on. And this is my stencil that I did already. So it's basically like a rectangle. You want to put it down on cardboard. Trace it, cut it out. And I like to do two to make it, to give it a harder back here. And you'll be needing any kind of fabric. After you're done cutting them out twice, just glue them in place. You take your fabric, take your back of the chair, and you want to put it down. And you want to leave, you want to trace it, but leave like a little bit for the side where you can put glue on I am using hot glue and then I just flip it over and do the same just make sure you leave a little border around the whole back of your chair cut it out You want to take the good side and be careful when using a hot glue gun, it's hot. You want to do the, make sure you get the, you want to fold it in half, just like so. 
Then you want to put glue on the side here. Just like so. And then do the same for the other side. Just like so. Then you want to turn. You can sew it too, but I find it easier to just glue it and turn it around. You can also use something pointy like scissors to get the corners out nicely, like so. And then you want to take your back part that you glued together before, those two pieces. Fold it a little bit, like so, and stick it in, or put it in. Then you want to take some of your cotton wool and just stuff it in as thick as you like. After you're done filling it up, you want to take your glue and just glue it shut, just like so. And your back is done. Then you want to do the same with um, the part where your doll is going to be sitting on. I'm going to take more fabric, put this part down, and just give it enough room so you can like glue it on too, all the way around it. Just cut out a square or a circle. Just give it enough border to cover the whole thing. And do the same, cut it out. After you're done cutting out your circle, put the nice side down, place this over here, and start gluing it on. Just take a little bit, put it on, and make sure you stretch it so it looks nice like that. And be careful, it is hot with the hot glue gun. So I took a straw, cut it two inches for the legs and You'll need some, just some plain paper. Just like so, just cut a piece off. And then roll it up. And you wanna it through like that so it looks nice and shiny and white instead of just painting it I kept it like this and do that for the other tree then take your shower curtain hook and you want to stretch it out so it fits over here you want to take that glue it on like so and you take the back, glue this on, and you want to maybe cut off all the axes just to make it nice and neat. 
and then you take um, your four two inch straws and just glue them on just like that And you're done.